All right, everyone, get comfortable because I need to walk you through yet another giveaway truck. So we have LG D19 behind me. The truck giveaway just launched. You can now win that truck along with $40,000 in cash. But I always want to show you guys every single detail on the trucks. And of course, all the build specs are on the website. As always, with all the giveaways, you can even go back through the past giveaways if you want in the search bar. Search up the giveaway and you can find out all the information on that truck if you really want to know the setup. But let's get started with this one right here. So we have a completely murdered out 2021 High Country Duramax. So as always, all of the lights on the truck are blacked out. We really like to change it up. If we wrap a truck, we'll paint the inside of the headlights to match the wrap. Sometimes we'll do just gloss black on the gloss black truck. We wanted to murder it out. Obviously, we wanted to go with all gloss black headlights. We did keep the uh, C bars on these clear. We didn't want to tint those. We did tint those on LG and D11, which was pretty much this truck's like brother. It had uh, 33 MTs on it. These are actually, we'll get into the wheel and tire setup, but these are Venoms. They ride a little bit uh, smoother. They are quieter, but it is a pretty similar truck to LG and D11. So blacked out headlights, like I said, all blacked out lights. So we have blacked out headlights, blacked out fog lights. The fog lights are not tinted. Sometimes we will tint fog lights if they cannot be painted on the inside. These ones you actually could take apart just like headlights and they have an inner housing that can be painted. So that's what we do on these trucks, just like we did on LG and D11. In the front end, I will just go over the entire front end while we're here. So we have the painted grill cross member, this big chrome, well, what was originally chrome. That's all, that's all painted black. We have the all blacked out emblem. We wanted to leave the trim pieces on the, oh, these were all chrome as well. Oh, one, two, three. Those were chrome trim pieces. And then these bronze trim pieces came bronze on the high car. They come bronze in the high countries and I really like that color so we wanted to keep those bronze the balance as usual is painted smoothed gloss black and then this piece down here this chrome skid plate is actually wrapped because it's chrome you could do two things with chrome you could take it and sandblast it and then paint it just to have more adhesion or you can wrap it in black some pieces we wrap, some pieces we paint. It really depends on the piece. But uh, yeah, so those are wrapped. The tow hooks on the High Countries come chrome. So we took those off, we powder coated those gloss black as well. Side of the truck, wheel well moldings always painted to match the truck. So these are painted and smoothed gloss black. Mirrors, as always, painted and smoothed gloss black. We wanted to keep the amber lighting on this truck because it's a very dark, sinister truck. So I think that the amber lighting really goes with that feel. Um, on the lighter trucks, like the white trucks, the red trucks, I mean, usually with those, we wanna do white lights. With darker trucks, we wanna do amber lighting. So as I was saying earlier, with the wrapped pieces versus the painted pieces with the chrome, handles are wrapped chrome. You could paint those, but odds are your ring or someone's ring, whatever the case may be, bracelet, are gonna end up scratching that paint. So at least if you wrap it, you can take it off. If it does rip, you can rewrap it. I mean, wrapping does have a lot of benefits. Um, it's not gonna look as smooth as paint, but you can barely, barely tell. So another thing that we wrapped was the uh, window trim pieces down here. These come chrome. The door pillars come black, gloss black from factory. We wanted to make this all gloss black, of course, in this truck because everything's black. These are very difficult to get off. Usually these are one-time use, so we didn't want to take them off, so they are wrapped in gloss black. Bed step, painted smooth, gloss black. And then on the rear bumper, we did the, uh, the bed steps, painted gloss black as well. And then tail lights tinted out. So we wanted to stay real simple on this truck. I didn't want to go too, too crazy. At the end of the day, I just wanted to have a completely murdered out truck. And that's exactly what we achieved. So along with the all black exterior, I wanted to keep the undercarriage all black as well. So I decided to go with a four to six inch Cognito lift kit. And they come in gloss black. Well, not really gloss black. They come in satin black. So we did just the factory Cognito satin black. And the nice thing about this kit is if you really do want to go up, you could. So it's a four to six inch. So if you want, you can crank those keys up a little bit and bring it up higher and then put a bigger block in the back to match the front. But these are 33s, four inches is pretty much where we have it set. And uh, it clears pretty, pretty good. We did have to trim the bumper very, very slightly, but it doesn't matter as 
long as it's clean. So, four six inch cognito lift with Fox 2.0 resi shocks. And then we also have oversized tie rods because for whatever reason, GM still has not made the final decision to put heavier duty tie rods on their trucks for whatever reason. Um, wheel and tire setup. So they're 24 by 14 KG1 Aristos, powder coated gloss black, wrapped in Venom, 33 by 14.5, 24 tires. Um, these are relatively new tires. A lot of people ask how they ride. Uh, they are, I mean, they're not cheap, but they're, they're, they're a good price for the tire. So 14.5 wide, it does sit flush with a 14 wide wheel. And honestly, they do ride really, really nice. Smooth, ride, and quiet. And that's what you really want in a tire. I mean, mud tires, always gonna be loud, always humble. All right, so normally we do rock lights on trucks. Some trucks we won't, but on this one specifically, I wanted to do them. So we did 20. If we do rock lights, we normally do 20. So that's made up of two in each wheel well, two in the front, two on both sides, and two in the back, and then you have four down the center. And before I forget, I do want to mention that the high countries obviously come with the high country badges on the two front fenders and then on the back tailgate we did take those off and we put on black high country badges nothing major but nice little touch we could have debadged it completely but at the end of the day there's really nothing on the truck that says high country besides you know no one really knows that the bronze pieces separate a high country from the rest of the trucks so we had to leave that but as far as the rest of the truck, that is pretty much it. It's a very, very simple truck. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Honestly, I wish I can keep it, but it's gonna go to one very lucky person along with $40,000 in cash. So we did just give away a brand new 2021 Denali HD Duramax, which is pretty much the same thing as the Chevys. GM makes both of them. So the High Country Chevy is the same exact thing as the Denali. And there's really not much difference whatsoever besides the emblem and then the wood trim. I mean, it's the same exact interior, just different colors. So the High Country's come in two different interior color options. You have the black or the brown LG and D15, the satin caramel dually that we gave away. That's now in Texas. That had the caramel or the brown interior and it's an awesome, awesome interior. This one, I knew we were gonna do an all black truck. So I got the all black interior as well. I mean, these trucks are fully, fully loaded. The high countries come with everything. So you have the sunroof, you have the, I'll show you real quick. This is my favorite part of all the new GMs. The digital rear view mirror. And then if you want to turn that off, you have a regular mirror as well. And of course this thing has full 360 cameras, Apple CarPlay. Nice thing about the brand new Chevys versus the 2020s. The 2021s, your phone connects to CarPlay without having a cord. And that's a very, very big deal for me. And trust me, once you have it, you'll never go back. Charging pad, amazing sound system, but the best part in here is the $40,000 cash that one person's gonna get along with the truck. And the keys, and your name on the title. You literally own the truck outright. Ugh. All right, so now that you know Everything about LG and E19, as far as the truck itself, the giveaway itself, entering is the same as it's always been, lgndsupplycode.com, anything on the website that you purchase will enter you into the giveaway. And it's exactly the same from LG and D18, where every $1 equals one entry, the whole entire giveaway. We changed from all of the entry multipliers in LG and D18, we wanted to completely get rid of them because it skews odds, it causes confusion, it gives people unfair chances. So every $1 equals one entry, the whole entire giveaway. We're the only company that's doing that right now. And uh, we hope to continue doing it to give everybody a 100% fair and equal chance at winning any of our giveaway trucks. All right, so with that said, head to the website, get entered, cross your fingers, and hopefully I'll be seeing one of you watching this video very soon.